we're looking to measure the distance between the patient's pupils. So first, we close our right eye and we get the patient to look directly into our left eye and we line up the PD rule with the temporal side of the patient's pupil. Next, we swap over to our right eye and we get the patient to look directly into our right eye and we see at what distance the nasal side of the pupil is according to the ruler. Then we double check our measurements, swapping back to the right eye, ensuring that the temporal side of the pupil is still lined up with the zero and then back over to the temporal side to recheck our measurement. We're going to measure monocular pupillary distance using the centre of the nose as our reference point. So the setup is the same as it was for our binocular pupillary distance. We're going to get the patient to look into my left eye whilst we're staring at their right eye. And then we're going to be measuring the distance from the centre of the nose, which according to this ruler, we have the zero over the centre of the nose, over to the centre of the pupil. Next, we're going to swap over to the left eye and get the patient to look directly into our right eye. Again, we're measuring the distance from the centre of the nose, which is denoted by the zero on the ruler, over to the centre of the patient's left pupil. Here we see a left pupillary distance of 31.5. We're going to double check the measurement of the right eye and then double check the measurement that we're getting for the left eye. Now we're going to measure near pupillary distance. We're going to assume a reading distance of 40 centimetres from the patient, so I'm going to sit uh, and set myself 40 centimetres away from the patient's eyes. I'm going to use just my right eye for this measurement, so I'm going to get the patient to look straight into my right eye while I place the PD rule with the zero mark on the temporal pupil. Next, I'm going to have a look at the left eye and note at what distance the nasal side of a pupil is on the ruler. To double check my measurement, I'll look again at the right eye, making sure that the temporal pupil is still over the zero mark, and then I'll recheck my measurement on the left eye. Notice I didn't swap eyes, and I got the patient to look at my right eye throughout this procedure.